If you're a fan of the late Mike Leach, today's ReliaQuest Bowl in Tampa, Florida could not have started or ended much better than it did. The home stadium of the Buccaneers, the Pirates' memory lived on as his Mississippi State Bulldogs hit the field for the first time since his sudden death last month. Kelby Case, Jaxie Pigeon caught up with someone who was there to witness it all. Jaxie. A bowl game win was the ultimate way Mississippi State could honor the legendary Mike Leach, and they did just that. Not to mention, they did so in pirate fashion, ending with a wild play. In addition to the statement victory, there were many other ways Leach was remembered throughout this bowl game. Anytime something tragic happens, it's best to go through it with those who you're closest to, and that's what a football team is, that's what a locker room is, it's a family. It's been three weeks since the world lost a national treasure. Former Texas Tech coach and recent Mississippi State coach Mike Leach passed away on December 12th due to heart complications. Despite his death, the team decided to play Illinois in the ReliaQuest Bowl in Tampa on Monday. Mike Leach has been leading this program for three years and he was out there leading us today. Just like Texas Tech did in the Texas Bowl, Mississippi State lined up in air raid formation on the first play from scrimmage. Delay, offense, penalty at the climb. First down. I cannot thank Coach Bielema and his staff enough for being okay. Obviously, we, we spoke leading up to the game about, hey, this is an opportunity to honor Coach Leach, one of his kind of unique formations, and they were 100% all in on it. It just created an opportunity and a moment to honor Coach Leach's legacy on the game of football. Keith Koble was there to witness the matchup and says it was a sight to see. It made this kind of a special day today uh, to uh, play this game, and I you know, my sense was that the players really wanted to win this one for Coach Leach. Some notable ways Leach was honored. The Bulldogs wore pirate helmets. His name was on the 25-yard line. The band spelled out Leach during their halftime performance. And his portrait sat aboard the legendary Buccaneers pirate ship. It's the outpouring of heartfelt, you know, relationships with, with Coach Leach. And we were just glad to be a part of that. The Bulldogs struggled through the first three quarters without the Pirate, but ultimately, a 16-point fourth quarter, including a 60-yard scoop and score to end the game, would seal the deal for Mississippi State's 19-10 victory over Illinois. They were locked in during football time, which is what's preached under Coach Leach, and then they went out there and they played, they competed and they executed, and we, and we left with a win. And many are still hoping the National Football Foundation makes an exception for Coach Leach to be honored in the College Football Hall of Fame. To be inducted, coaches must have 10 years of head coaching experience, 100 victories, and a winning percentage of 60%. Leach's tenure ended just four hundredths of a percentage point short of that winning mark. Jackson, thank you very much.